Hi, and welcome to Tiktori. In this video, I want to show you what Tiktori is, how to configure it, and what you can do with it. Tiktori is software that allows you to create Tiktok live overlays and take your Tiktok stream to the next level. Since streamers usually stream based on specific themes, regularly switching between, for example, horror streams, bus driving streams, or timer streams, we've introduced profiles. You can switch between and manage your profiles using the Profile Selector in the app's header. An overlay is also created for each profile. The overlay is the element that ultimately gets embedded into your streaming software and appears on top of your entire stream. To access it, click on Overlay in the sidebar. An overlay can consist of multiple elements. The default element is the Announcement element, which can show an announcement, for example, when you get a new follower or receive a gift. You can add more elements by clicking the Add Element button. Let me briefly introduce each element in detail. The Goal element shows a target. In the right sidebar, you can configure this overlay element. For example, you can change the text, the target type. You can choose between followers, coins, points, shares, or set a custom goal. You can also change the colors, font and size, and much more. During your live stream, likes will be counted and the progress bar will gradually fill up. The next element is the timer. The timer is a countdown that can be influenced by your viewers' interactions. You can set how many seconds should be added to the timer per coin, like subscription, etc. You can also configure a multiplier to further increase the added time. The next element is the text element. This one's pretty self-explanatory. It lets you create static text that is always visible. Another popular element is the gift feed. This displays the most recent gifts you've received from your viewers. The gift feed comes in various styles. You can also decide how many gifts you want to show. Next up is the top list. With the top list, you can show your most active viewers, sorted by an attribute of your choice. For example, you can choose to display viewers with the most coins, the most points, or the most likes. You can also choose the time range. You can show the most active viewers of all time, of the day, or of the current stream. By checking Cycle Through, you activate automatic switching. The top list will then regularly rotate between likes, points, and coins. The next element is the location element. The location element can display different things. As you can see, you already have a default location element in your overlay. By default, new followers and likes are shown here. If you want to show new followers and likes in different places, you'll need multiple location elements. Lastly, we have the video and image elements. You can use these to display videos and images in your stream, either static or dynamically through flows. That's it for the overlay editor. Let's now take a look at our flows system. With our flow system, you can program automated actions for your stream and choose which profile the flows should be active on. By default, three flows are pre-configured. Let's take a look at the first one. This is our flow editor. A flow always starts with an event that it waits for. In this case, we're waiting for a viewer to send 100 likes. Once this event occurs, the associated actions are automatically triggered. In our case, a text is displayed to thank the viewer. At the same time, this sound is played. Using the play button on the event node, we can test the flow. As you can see, the text appears and the sound is played. Let's now create a slightly more complex flow. Simply click on Add Flow in the overview. We want to create a flow that displays one of three texts at random every time a new follower joins. To do this, we select New Follower as the event. Click the plus icon to attach a new action to the event. For the action, 
we select Random Action. We then attach three more actions to the random action. Each of these will be Show Text, and we enter a text for each. We now need to make sure the text is shown in the right place. So here we select Announcement, which is our default location element. Now let's give the flow a name and save it. Using the play button, we can test the flow again. And as you can see, a random text appears each time. That was just a small glimpse into the features of our flow system. The best way to get to know it is to try it out yourself. But Tiktori has even more to offer. Under the Features menu, you'll find even more tools. With the point system, viewers can earn points through interactions and level up. You can then use these levels within different Tiktori features to grant access to certain functionalities. With audio alerts, you can play a sound for specific actions, like receiving a particular gift. You can also decide which profiles the alerts should be active for. The text-to-speech, or TTS, feature lets your viewers have their chat messages read aloud. You can choose a default voice. There's a wide selection of voices and accents to choose from, including ones like Donald Trump, Barack Obama, or Angela Merkel. You can unlock TTS for specific viewer groups and decide which types of messages should be read out. You can also assign custom voices to individual viewers. To do this, go to the Viewers section, click the Edit button next to a viewer, and select the desired voice. The Follower bot shows a random text for each new follower. It's basically the same function we just created as a flow, but more streamlined and simplified. You can set up multiple follower bot configurations and activate one per profile. The Like Balloon is one of several mini-games currently in development. When the Like Balloon is triggered, through a gift or a flow, a balloon appears on screen and grows with every like until it eventually pops. You can configure the like threshold and how long the balloon should be visible. The Wheel of Fortune is a wheel that spins and lands on a random segment. You can use it to randomly choose, for example, which game to play next. For OBS users, we've developed browser docs. Streamers who use OBS exclusively often can't keep an eye on their gifts and chat. The browser docs can be integrated via the instructions, allowing you to always see your recent gifts and chat messages. In many of the features I just showed you, you can display images and videos or play sounds. These media files are managed centrally via libraries. You can upload your media to any library and use them across multiple features. In the sound library, you can also choose from a large collection of pre-made sounds. And finally, a very important feature. The import feature. With the import feature, you can migrate your viewers, media, events, and actions from Tickfinity to Tiktori. Just follow the instructions on the page, import your settings, and you can start using Tiktori right away. That's it. Please note that Tiktori is currently in beta. That means you'll probably run into bugs. If you find any bugs, run into issues, or have questions, feel free to reach out. You can reach us via the support chat in the app or by email at support at Thanks for watching and have fun using Tiktori.